Hello, everybody. I've just briefed uh, the Security Council on behalf of the Secretary General uh, on Security Council Resolution 1559, which is related to um, Lebanon's uh, sovereignty and independence, and also in particular related to the disarming and disbanding of all Lebanese and non-Lebanese uh, militias. Um, I'm leaving the Council meeting uh, happy and encouraged because there is a strong unity um, in the Council, uh, without any exception, uh, on the uh, main issues pertaining to this particular Security Council resolution. Lebanon is now facing um, a difficult and challenging period. The um, conflict in Syria continues to have a significant impact on Lebanon in every regard. But Lebanon has shown itself to be resilient and has managed to make progress politically as well as in regard to security over the last six weeks in particular. The political unity which brought about um, the formation of Lebanon's new government now needs to be further uh, built on. And what is particularly important is that um, uh, the election of a new president is carried out uh, timely uh, by the parliament. This is crucial for the good governance in Lebanon and it is crucial for the country's stability and security. Um, uh, the election of a new president um, within the constitutional framework will not only be an important indicator of the strength of Lebanon's democratic institutions and its political uh, independence, but the um, next six-year term will be an important period for steering Lebanon into a positive direction, including in, in its relations to its neighbors and the full implementation of relevant Security Council resolutions. I'm also uh, uh, glad that uh, the Lebanese army uh, has made uh, uh, strides in order to uh, secure better um, security and stability in um, the country, tackling security challenges uh, uh, across the country. And continued support for the army and the security forces will be a key factor in building further upon achievements made so far. I would take a couple of questions. I, I am hosting the Foreign Minister of Spain in a few minutes, so I have to go. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Mr. Larson, my question is, if you compare the situation now with three months or six months ago, uh, after regaining the Syrian army regained al Qalamun, is Lebanon more secure now or less secure than it used to be six months ago? I think the, uh, both the uh, government uh, and the uh, Lebanese armed forces um, it deserves to be commended for the efforts they are doing in order to keep the country stable under extremely difficult circumstances. Uh, you are the, you have the most expertise on uh, on Lebanon. Now that we are facing this uh, the stalemate in the uh, election of the new president, what do you expect if the uh, parliament fails to uh, elect a new uh, president for Lebanon? Thank you. It will be very bad news for good governance in uh, Lebanon. It will be very bad news for the security situation in Lebanon. And it will be very bad news for the stability of Lebanon. So I do hope that the parliamentarians across the board will shoulder their responsibilities and find a way to elect a new president. Uh, sir, thank you. Uh, we hear there are uh, 